either that keep the cabinets and throw in a fence because we messed up or wait we push you back six to eight weeks wait wait a minute what How are you doing? Welcome back to Bradley's On The Go. We're gonna have a real good chatter, chatter, chit, chit video, okay? Just a, just a little chit chat, just a little chit chat. Um, I don't even know where to start. So if you've been following along, you know that we bought, we're in the process of buying our home. We bought our first home. We're building it and all this other good stuff, good, exciting stuff. And we might have, might have, by the blood of Jesus it will be resolved but I told y'all in previous videos um, I don't know exactly when this video is going up where it we at because a lot of those videos that y'all seen are pre-recorded but I told y'all about the cabinets we ordered white cabinets but with the cabinets that are in the house are antique white cabinets y'all they look antique I can't stand that beige color it's beige it's tan they tan cabinets they beige cabinets the nude cabinets I really don't like that yellow undertone that the cabinets have I really cannot stand those cabinets so the dilemma that we've hit is the fact that those cabinets the white cabinets they said they're so popular that they're on back order mind you they have one two three four maybe four styles so I hit them with this I since you claim since y'all say that they're already painted just go ahead and paint the cabinets that's in the house they come back and say, no, we can't paint the cabinets that's already in, that's already in the house because we don't know the um, quality of what that is. And I'm in the back of my head, I'm like, but if they're already painted, okay, don't even worry about it. So then I go back with, um, okay, so even if you have white in another style, I'll even, I'll even settle for that. I'm not settling to keep those cabinets that y'all put in the house because that's that color is ugly. I could have seen if they could have put the wrong cabinet style with white and I would have been totally fine but that color that nasty color is so nasty I, I really don't like it and then I had to have a moment within myself and I even hit up Nadia style by Casanova on Instagram my DM time I hit her up like we ain't cool yet okay <laughs> that's my homie on the inside <laughs> going through this process but I hit her up and I was like am I being Am I being like spoiled? Am I being ungrateful? Am I being a brat? Those are the only words that I can think of at this time. Like, cause I, the, the, the average person or even, I don't know, a normal person would be like, girl, they just cabinets. Like, go ahead. And she was like, uh, no, wait. Because it was either take those cabinets, something else that they, they brought to us was take those cabinets and we're throwing the fence. I'm like, we can afford a fence when it's time to get a fence. Right now, we ain't need no fence because kids can't go outside anyway. <laughs> I don't really, it's not, a fence is not necessity, but I really don't like those cabinets. Like, I don't like them. So we were like, either that, keep the cabinets and throw in a fence because we messed up, or wait, we push you back six to eight weeks. Wait, wait a minute. What? Six? another six to eight weeks so that's when I hit up Nadia and I was like should I just take it I also can't gave them the option I was like can we get something in writing stating that once we move in then you guys once the cabinets come then you guys can come and rip those cabinets out and, and, and install the proper cabinets and they're like no because we don't want to damage anything but they've been moving along the thing that's mind-boggling to me y'all I'm just talking to y'all that's mind-boggling to me is the fact that they have continued to put stuff in the house, like the backsplash is up, the countertops are on, the appliances have not been inserted. I do believe my dishwasher has, but like the oven and the microwave and the stovetop has not been inserted as of yet. Um, but everything else, like the backsplash, the the pendant lights, the hardwood floor is down. Like I'm like, okay, so amen. And then we're in this epidemic, pandemic plague, okay? Um, COVID-19 has hit, and uh, it's like, where where are we with this process? And I understand that anything worth having is worth fighting for. I understand that God is not going to put more on us than we can bear. I understand that. 
then I, I on I'm an emotional human being so I automatically went into my emotions and I have to learn that God is God is my provider anything that is going to happen as long as I trust God everything will fall go through we walk this property we put scriptures on the walls nothing is wrong with the credit score <laughs> like I'm like all right we, we did our part continue to do your part and God would do his is what I've had to learn in this process and not solely rely on Jasmine because Jasmine clearly can't hold it up by herself you understand um what else y'all so that's the dilemma we hit and I wanted to come and talk to y'all about the wrong cabinets okay it was all because of these wrong cabinets and remember in the video I don't know if y'all seen it yet maybe y'all have there was a there's a video out when i'm on the phone with y'all i'm talking to y'all and then my project manager calls so he like yeah i right, don't worry we got it we like we gonna fix it so i thought i caught it in in the nick of time and then he told me like somebody during that process of you noticing that somebody dropped the ball and it didn't go through i was like so even talking to y'all i've learned i'm learning that do your part and allow god to do his because y'all i promise you like the enemy is on his job Daily, hourly, minutely, weekly. <laughs> he is on it. So I, I really had to learn to trust God. I'm looking at my vision board behind y'all. I really had to learn to trust. I'm learning to trust God solely. Like we say it, we say it, we say it, we say it. But do we truly believe it, especially in this time? Like, are we solely believing it? Like, uh, what you might feel is a brick wall, y'all. And I'm not trying to preach to nobody. What you might feel is a brick wall is God stopping something so that he can he can work things out in the long haul like there's no there's no saying what would have happened in the long haul so maybe God has given us this longer time to save some more money maybe God has given us a broader time because he he don't want nobody that's go, that could be sick to be in the house and working on the house and then something get caught on and then we move in right after that person's been in there so you never know what is going on and hey amen I'm talking to myself as I'm talking to y'all you never know what is going on or what's happening behind the scenes of what you can't see and what only God can see okay who y'all thank y'all for allowing me to vent to y'all to just talk to you, not even vent, because I'm, I'm not even upset anymore, I just want it to be handled and taken care of, because now we're hitting the questions of, I haven't heard anything back yet, I haven't, I don't have any news for y'all yet, I don't know what's going on, so at this point, the last thing we heard was waiting on the white cabinets will push us back six to eight weeks, and though I am ready to get out of my sister's house, okay, and I'm pretty sure she's ready for us to get out too, <laughs> we are ready to have our house, we are ready to have our home, I'm ready to be cleaning for my family, y'all, I feel like I'm about to cry, I don't even know who's gonna watch this, maybe this is just for my diaries, I found, ooh, Jesus, I just learned the value of my family, like, it's crazy to even say that, because you would think that all girls want to get married, all girls want to have this big old family, all girls want to have da 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 right? But do you know the value of what you're asking for? Do you know the value of what you have with you right now? And I just learned that. I had to, I had to repent, I had to thank them, I had to <laughs> ask for wisdom, I had to do all of this stuff when that hit me, like... I look forward to cleaning for my family. I look forward to cooking for my husband. I look forward to making sure the home is taken care of when he gets home. Like, that wasn't me, y'all. Like, I don't, I have a, a, I have a self-diagnosed low, like very low OCD <laughs> level. And I get very overwhelmed by mess, but I'm also a procrastinator. Like, does it even match? At this point, does it even go together? And I promise you, this is straight like Jasmine's diary. Because <laughs> I'm just talking and I don't even know if anyone's listening out there. But um, this mainly for me is what I just realized for it. Me just putting it out there and understanding the value of my family, the value in trusting God, and uh, the value of patience. Do you hit like... Can you even say that? Patience. Like, I can't even say it in full tone. Patience. You understand? <laughs> you gotta have patience. Oh, my God. Y'all, I'm gonna let you go. Because I've said a lot. But that's where we're at now. I'm waiting to hear back from him. I'm waiting to see what what's going to happen now if we're at a standstill because they still they have been working on the house like our shower doors are up the back the black the backsplash is up which i'm going to change i don't think i like that backsplash 
and I've been doing some research, um, getting buying tile and then getting it installed is not, to me, is not expensive. I do need to find somebody out here locally, but I think I want a white black, a white backsplash. Not marble, because our countertops are model marble. I think I want a white backsplash, even in some type of design. Because they had the tile, they had white tile in the, uh, I, if, I could, if I can find a picture, I'll show you. They had the tile, but it was just like that straight, boring, I didn't like it. This one had some pizzazz to it. And I was like, oh, let's go with that. And it looked nice in the, uh, in the uh, model home that we walked in. But I don't know if I like it. So we might be changing it. <laughs> but anywho, hopefully you guys even enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up just for me being vulnerable and even putting this out there. I think it's not, hope, prayerfully it can help somebody, but I know that it helped me even just sitting in front of this camera and talking to you guys. So, my little, my little antenna sticking up. Uh, the kids are home. We in quarantine. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Stay tuned for more videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Um, and click, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to come over here and join the family, all right? Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If it's not too much, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Until next time, bye.